So it's hard to miss how Disney is failing at the moment, right? I'm sure you notice it. Anything they put out just bombs. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to see it. There's like huge franchises like Dial of Destiny and Diana Jones. Nobody cares. Bad reviews. People don't care. Or the Marvels came out recently. Don't need to tell you how that went. Okay, kind of story kind of writes itself. Ant-Man and, and the Wasp, whatever it's Quantumania, whatever it's called, the new film. They all bomb. Everything they put out, is it bombs. And now, just last weekend on Thanksgiving, they put out the movie Wish. I'm sure you haven't heard of it. I hadn't heard of it because nobody had. Because there's no marketing for it. And people don't care unsurprisingly but it's in cinemas and it bombed at the box office as well it made only 31.7 million dollars over a five day holiday over a five day thanksgiving holiday it made 31.7 million dollars that is an insane number that is not a number you want if you are disney i remember disney saying well if you know if our business doesn't return i don't know like 500% profit margins every year then we're not we're not doing it we're shutting it down like that's the disney i know when i grew up disney was like this monolith of of quality insurance right like whatever they would put out would just be at least incredibly well crafted well written and well made now that's not the case anymore What's going on there? Not only that, but people just don't care. And it's not just the Marvel Universe. Look at Star Wars. Star Wars is drowning in its own mediocrity. It's like ridiculous, the stuff that they're putting out on Star Wars. And just to get on a tangent here for a second, okay? I hate how they disrespect these characters. Like they put out a show like Kenobi. They put out a show like Boba Fett. This is disrespectful, the way this is written and made, in my opinion, to the original franchises and the characters. It sucks, okay? I don't want to see this kind of stuff. And many other people don't want to see it either. Hence, you have these box office numbers, okay? So why, why is that? Why do people not want to see Disney films anymore? I mean, they're still kind of pretty to look at, I guess. Is it because they're woke? Is it because Disney totally woke? Yes, nobody wants to see... Yes, okay, let's be honest for a second. I do think that is actually a factor. Not that Disney went woke, but that a lot of brain amputated people think that's a problem, okay? And they literally, like, just boycott Disney. They don't even really know why themselves. They just do it, okay, because something woke. I don't know, Little Mermaid, Black, I don't know, something like that. So they do boycott the company, and they do definitely put a dent into these numbers. There's no doubt about it. But looking at these box office numbers that we are seeing for films like Wish, which, by the way, I, I don't know if it helped that they named it after, like, a knockoff online retailer. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, man. The word Wish it just has some tone of low quality to it at this point. <laughs> but does the anti-war crowd push those box office numbers that deep down? I don't think so, okay? These numbers are so low that it indicates pretty clearly that the left-leaning audiences also don't care. So it's not, like, solely political... It's definitely more to it. People don't care about these films anymore for a reason. And obviously there's like a broad variety of reasons, right, that, that lead to this. These are like super complex issues, many factors playing into it, wokeness being one of them. But another one is that there's just this massive fatigue of these kinds of films. Everything looks like something else, you know, everything kind of looks the same. If I look at the, the trailer for this Wish movie that came out now, it very much looks like, I don't know, Encanto or whatever, just the style, and that all looks like freaking AI-generated stuff at this point. It has lost its magic. It's worn off. And then on top of that, the medium of films as a whole, I would argue, has worn off as well. Films are not as magical and as much of an event as they used to be. If I look back and look at it, like when The Lion King or The Little Mermaid came to cinemas when I was a kid in the 90s, Jesus Christ, dude, people were flocking there by the hundreds. People are scraping their money together everywhere. Children, you know, just get a ticket to see that film. It's an event. You had to see it. It's a huge thing. But now, you know, everyone's got their cinema at home. Nobody really cares anymore. You've got an abundance of films on all. Either you pirate them or you have like all these streaming platforms. You can watch basically anything you want at any time. So that led to fatigue. And then on top of that, speaking of box offices, cinema itself has worn off as well massively. Have you been to a cinema recently? It freaking sucks. Take your kids to a cinema. It sucks. It's not a fun experience. It's stuck in the 90s because it's basically unchanged since the 90s nobody has looked at it and thought how you could actually improve it it's like you never move beyond oh a kind of comfy seat a big screen and popcorn bro that's what it is that's what it's been forever and they're not going with the times 
People have cinemas at home now. You, I don't have the answers for you. You know, you got to figure that out by yourself as a cinema. But you have to go with the times and change as everything around you changes as well. So I think all these factors, right, like the shift to streaming, that's a thing now. And then all these markets like cinemas are slow to adapt. They don't really know what to do. And so is Disney. Clearly, Disney and many other companies are struggling to adapt to these to this constantly fluctuating and changing environment because it's not just Disney, right? That's another point that needs to be made. If you look at movies, big movies, like highly anticipated films like the Flower Moon thing, uh, New Mission Impossible, Fast and Furious, even uh, what Ridley Scott's Napoleon, I think. Uh, that oh, they all bombed. Like I'm not saying they bombed, but they underwhelmed. Okay, they stayed behind expectations financially, and of course, quality plays into it as well. I'm not saying all these films are great and outstanding, and they just bombed because people are fatigued. This is a much bigger problem, in my opinion, than than just the one that Disney has at the moment. Because again, we have such an overabundance of stuff. Everything at this point just feels like a cash grab. Nothing can get people excited anymore. Rarely you see a piece of media where you're like, wow, okay, this seems like an actual attempt at making good content, at making a good movie uh, in this case. I mean, maybe I would name, if you ask me for an example, um, Fury Road, Mad Max Fury Road, Dune. I thought Dune, the new one. Great coherent world, really took you on that journey. Amazing sound design, visual design, really well-crafted film and well-written film as well. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying everything is garbage, but the focus has clearly shifted over to putting out more content in a shorter time so we have more because more means better and higher profit margins. And it's like, we can clearly see that that's not how it works. Okay, so the only way out of this for a company like Disney is that they have to put stuff on hold. They have to be brave and say, well, there's no Star Wars content for the next four years. And yeah, we're putting Marvel on hold as well. And we, maybe we come up with a few new IPs or something, but these big things, they're going to get some breathing space now. And we put them on hold and stuff. But no, we, we all know that's not going to happen. Right? They're going to slaughter that cow until there's nothing left of it. And it's kind of sad. It is sad to witness because, to be honest, I'm, you know, I'm still passionate about Star Wars. I would hope that someone turns it into something that's magical again never been a big Marvel fan, but I know a lot of you guys are out there. But you listen, listen, I want to hear your thoughts on this. I want to know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that there's a general fatigue of people watching that stuff and people just don't care anymore? And it's almost like no matter what Disney puts out, people won't really care. Or do you think it has other reasons? Leave all that down in the comment section below if you want to continue the debate with me. I have a Discord server, okay? I'm hanging out there. Link is in the description. It's free to join. It's a nice community. You can make new friends. You can talk about Disney, Star Wars, Marvel. We have all that going on over there, okay? Meet new friends on our Discord. Again, link in the description. Subscribe, smash like button, do the things. You can also consider becoming a member. The details to all that are down in the description. I thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'm out. Bye.